as well as being two big Hollywood movie actors. John Travolta and Bruce Willis are two moguls, owners of huge fortunes. But have you ever stopped to think which one has a more luxurious life? In this video, you will watch a fierce battle between John Travolta and Bruce Willis. So let's fight! Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds. You got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Most expensive property. When it comes to choosing good places to live, the two stars don't spare their fortunes. But which of them has the most expensive property? John Travolta, for example, doesn't like to skimp. He already owns a mansion situated on a 2.3-acre lot located in the upscale Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. Being surrounded by many green areas, the house seems to offer a lot of peace and tranquility, being ideal for those who like a strong presence of nature. According to real estate websites, the property has about 8,500 square feet of internal area, being divided into six bedrooms. The backyard of the house also offers a lot of leisure for the residents, including a cozy area with a round swimming pool and even a tennis court. And according to media reports, John Travolta sold this property in 2019 to famous businessman Scooter Braun for $18 million, but the mansion is currently being put up for sale for $24 million. Bruce Willis for his part is not far behind. Proof of this is that he once owned a paradise villa in the Turks and Caicos Islands in the middle of the Caribbean. Called Como Resorts Parrot K, the eight-acre property boasts a full five-star infrastructure. This oceanfront property is more like a private resort than a single-family residence, as there are three wood-clad houses with a total of 12 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. There is a total of 18,000 square feet of indoor space and another 18,000 square feet of outdoor decking. This is not counting the other separate accommodations in guest villas. For entertainment, the property offers a children's playground with an exquisitely crafted pirate ship, lush tropical landscaping, a fleet of buggies for tours, and a refreshing pool overlooking the sea. Willis bought the property in 2000 and built the entire structure, and it was there that he even married his current wife Emma nine years later. However, in 2019 he decided to dispose of this resort, selling it for $27 million, a big fortune, and for owning such a luxurious property, Bruce Willis wins this round. Score one for him. Cars. Both actors are passionate about luxury cars. But which one has the most valuable car collection? John Travolta, for example, has owned vehicles such as $55,000 1957 Ford Thunderbird, $60,000 2009 Jaguar XJ8 back, $65,000 1955 Ford Thunderbird, $75,000 1956 Lincoln Continental Mark, $90,000 1960 Rolls Royce Phantom, $100,000 2001 TVR Tuscan, $110,000 1970 Mercedes 280 SL, and even a Bentley Flying Spur valued at over $200,000. Bruce Willis has already auctioned off his collectible cars. A 1968 Pontiac Firebird 400 convertible with a 330 horsepower V8 engine for $30,000. A 1957 Chevrolet Corvette convertible that he won from actress Demi Moore when they were both married, which was valued at $70,000. A 1988 Lincoln Limousine, a vehicle worth around $90,000. A 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Roadster, a sports car valued at $110,000. He also once owned a 1968 Dodge Charger that went through rebuilds that cost around $35,000, until the car went to auction with the estimated sale at $83,000. When it comes to more powerful SUVs, the artist has a $90,000 Range Rover. Another car that Bruce had refurbished and recreated was the legendary 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback GT390 using a Shelby Mustang GT500. In 2008, this car was auctioned and auctioned off for an impressive $161,000. Also passing through Willis's garage has been a 2013 Bentley Continental GT Speed Le Mans Edition, 
a luxury and extreme refinement vehicle worth around $227,000. And for having the most luxurious collection, Bruce wins this round. Point for him. Overspending. Both celebrities can afford a lot of luxury and comfort, but which of them has the most extravagant spending? Bruce Willis, for example, has already had plans to build an airport in the state of Idaho, which reinforces the thesis that he should own some private aircraft. The actor has been seen, for example, aboard a Bombardier Challenger 600, a medium-sized, long-range business jet capable of crossing continental distances with ease and efficiency. The interior of the aircraft is very comfortable, with a very large and spacious structure offering an exceptional flying experience for up to 12 passengers. And although we do not know if this jet is his, it is estimated that a new aircraft of this model can cost upwards of $10 million. In his spare time, Bruce Willis has already been spotted enjoying life on the high seas aboard a beautiful boat, which, although we don't know the model, must have cost a lot of money to rent. John Travolta, for his part, has been spotted with some luxury watches, such as a $15,000 Breitling Navitimer and a $40,000 Rolex Daytona Cosmograph. One of the actor's greatest passions is his airplanes. Travolta has already posted photos, for example, with a Falcon 2000 in his garage, a mid-sized jet with an intercontinental range. About 65 feet long, the interior of the aircraft can carry about 10 passengers depending on the chosen configuration. And to give you an idea of the price, it is estimated that a new jet of this model can cost around $7 million. From the same brand, the actor also owns a Falcon 900, which he even used to transport supplies to hurricane victims. The aircraft is known for having three engines, which can offer even more safety and autonomy. The interior of the jet is also even more spacious and can hold up to 14 people. And it is no wonder that this aircraft can be found costing around $16 million. As an ambassador for the Qantas airline, he was given a Boeing 707 to call his own. Travolta owned the aircraft for 18 years until he donated it to a restoration museum. And even though the aircraft is old, you can find models of this plane costing more than $20 million. Already recently, the actor posted on his social networks that he got a license to fly a Boeing 737, with many speculating that he had acquired this model aircraft. It is one of the most famous and best-selling aircraft in history and can carry hundreds of passengers. And if the actor did purchase this incredible plane, he may have forked out more than $70 million. And all these John Travolta jets are just a part of his fleet because some sources claim that he owns several. Travolta easily wins this round. Point for him. Real Estate Portfolio Both stars love to invest in high-end real estate, but which one has the biggest real estate portfolio? John Travolta for example, likes to invest in comfortable residences to live in with his family. In 2019, for example, the actor acquired a mansion with Mediterranean Villa architecture in the city of Calabasas, California. Going inside the residence, we can see that everything is very sophisticated, being decorated with top quality furniture, for example, the beautiful chandeliers and the fireplaces that are scattered throughout the house. The mansion is known to be equipped with several interesting rooms, such as a reading room, office, exercise room, well-equipped chef's kitchen, and many other things. In total, the mansion has about 7,500 square feet of floor space, divided into six bedrooms and five luxurious bathrooms. The outdoor area is one of the places that draw the most attention in this mansion, with an excellent space for social gatherings. The area is also equipped with a beautiful swimming pool with a jacuzzi for relaxing. And as has been reported in the media, John Travolta purchased this mansion for about $2.65 million. Further up the price, John Travolta once owned a modern mansion in the city of Clearwater in the state of Florida. The interior of the residence is very large and spacious, with several rooms integrated into the same environment. The kitchen, for example, is in the middle of the living room and the dining room, which brings more socialization among the residents of the residence. Going up to the second floor of the residence is where the bedrooms are, having in all about 4,400 square feet of built area, divided into five bedrooms and six modern bathrooms, with bathtubs covered in quartz. In the backyard, residents can enjoy a picturesque view of the Florida lake, and of course, can cool off in a beautiful infinity pool. And according to press reports, the actor sold this mansion in 2021 for about $4 million.
And because he is a person who is completely passionate about aviation, he decided to build a beautiful mansion that meets all his requirements. Located in the city of Ocala in the U.S. state of Florida, the actor's residence is situated on a huge plot of land with a special private airport, which has a gigantic flight path to serve his large aircraft. While other celebrities keep their supercars in their garage, John Travolta flaunts it even more and keeps his jets. When we go inside the actor's residence we can see that the decor is very luxurious, with several decorative objects that remind us of his passion for aviation. Travolta has already said that his residence is a super construction, with walls much thicker and reinforced than necessary, which should provide more security and a more serene night's sleep. Outside the house, he and his family can enjoy a beautiful swimming pool to cool off on sunny days. The property also has a private aircraft control center and a guest house for pilots. And while the exact value of John Travolta's mansion is unknown, some sources estimate it to be valued at more than $5 million. The actor recently put up for sale his mansion situated on a gigantic 48-acre plot of land in the town of Islesboro, in the U.S. state of Maine. The interior of the residence is quite peculiar, with a very colorful decoration, which creates a unique atmosphere. The actor's huge house has almost 11,000 square feet of internal area, divided into more than 20 rooms and 8 bathrooms, more than enough to house all the guests. And for those who are interested in purchasing this house, the good news is that it is for sale, being listed in 2022 for about $5 million. Going further up the price scale, the actor and his family currently live in a high-end property. Currently live in a beautiful mansion in the quiet residential neighborhood of Brentwood Park in Los Angeles, California. The 13,000-square-foot house has very modern architecture. From the very front, you can see how refined the actor's residence is. The entrance hall has double-height ceilings, providing plenty of room for the environment. Right next to the cozy living room, which has a piano and a fireplace, is the dining room, with a large table that seats up to 10 people. The residence has seven very spacious and clean bedrooms, besides five extremely luxurious bathrooms, especially the master suite, with marble finishes in the shower. The house also has an air-conditioned wine cellar, a very refined office, a spa room complete with an indoor hot tub and a relaxing sauna and massage area, a cinema room with armchairs for the whole family, a game room, and a gym and yoga area. Outside, Bruce Willis can enjoy many moments of leisure in the relaxing swimming pool with a waterfall. The actor acquired this beautiful property in 2019, paying $9.8 million at the time. He made a nice purchase, didn't he? And for having such a large real estate portfolio, Bruce Willis wins this round. Point for him. Sources of income. Besides making a lot of money as actors, both stars have other sources of income, but who has the most lucrative businesses? John Travolta, for example, was considered one of the most famous singers of the 1970s. Only the soundtrack of the movie Grease, for example, sold more than 40 million copies worldwide and is considered one of the best-selling albums of all time, which probably generated a few million dollars. Today, with the music streaming platforms, John Travolta continues to make a lot of money. On Spotify alone, for example, if we add up his 10 most listened to songs on the platform, the number reaches almost 800 million plays, which may have earned him more than $3 million. Another area that Travolta has worked in is dubbing, with his main role being as the main character in the animated film Bolt. Since he is a world-renowned figure, he can also earn a lot of money with his image. Among the companies that have already invested in Travolta are the watch brand Breitling, the airline Qantas, the financial services company Capital One, and others. Bruce Willis, on the other hand, makes a lot of money from advertising. He has, for example, already been the poster boy for Golden Wine Cooler Drinks, in a contract estimated to be worth $7 million over two years. In 2009, Willis also signed another contract to become the international face of Belvedere S.A. Sobieski Vodka in exchange for a 3.3% stake in the company. In addition, Bruce Willis was one of the founders of the film production company Cheyenne Enterprises. Not to mention that he owned several small ventures, including the Mint Bar and the Liberty Theater, as well as being one of the first promoters of Planet Hollywood, a chain of Hollywood-themed restaurants. And since they both have great sources of income, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Fortune 
being two successful actors, it's no surprise that they've already made a lot of money. But which of them has the biggest fortune? Bruce Willis, for example, has had much of his net worth come from his successful movies. Just with the Die Hard franchise alone, after taking inflation into account, his earnings were approximately $80 million. After paying all his taxes, it is currently estimated that Bruce Willis has a net worth of $250 million, enough money to retire without financial worries and to guarantee a good future for the next generations. John Travolta, on the other hand, also had his salary varying according to the stage of his career and the budget of the film's productions. With the movie Pulp Fiction for example, despite being a box office success, it is estimated that Travolta received only $140,000 because he was going through a bad phase and the production budget was not so high. But it was during the best phase of his career that he really earned a lot of money, receiving millions of dollars for each performance. To get an idea of values, some sources estimate that he received about $7 million for Get Shorty, $10 million for Battlefield Earth, 12 million for Michael, 17 million for Primary Colors. Back in his prime, John Travolta was paid around 20 million dollars for films like A Civil Action, Mad City, Swordfish, Ladder 49, Be Cool, and Face Slash Off. A gigantic salary that at the time placed him among the highest paid actors in the world. And although nobody knows the exact amount of the actor's fortune, some sources estimate that John Travolta has a net worth of approximately $250 million. And because they have the same estimated fortune, we'll consider this round a tie. Points for both of them. At the end of this fight, we have three points for John Travolta against five points for Bruce Willis, being him the winner of this battle. But if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.